Hello Grade 12s. Today we'll look at what probability is, how it's represented and how we can work it out. Let's join Tandi and Lebohang as they show us how to use probability to work out what the chances are of winning games played with dice, cards and numbered balls like in the lottery. <laughs> I need to go to the soccer match. Tandy wants to go shopping. But one of us has to supervise Saturday's homework class. <laughs> Ready to take a chance? Either select a face card from the pack or throw a nine with a dice. Get it right and I'll go tomorrow. Well, what are my chances getting it right? Work it out. That's quite a challenge from Tandy. Which option would you choose if you were Lebuchang? Here are the options again. To win in option one, Lebuchang needs to choose a face card that is either a jack, queen, or king from the pack of 52 cards. And to win in option two, he needs to roll nine with two dice. Now, it is possible for Lebuchang to win the bet by either selecting a face card from the pack or by rolling the dice. What he needs to decide is which option gives him the best chance of winning. In maths, we use the word probability to describe the chance of a certain event happening. We calculate the probability as a ratio of the number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes and write this as a fraction or as a percentage. These numbers can also be called the odds of winning. For the card game, the desired outcome for Lebuchang is choosing a face card. Of course, there's more than one way to choose a face card. So, to work out his chance of winning the card game, or odds, he needs to start by working out the total number of ways he can select a face card. Can you see what he should do? Okay. Let's see. Check. Queens and Jack. Uh, right. So we've got spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. That's four, eight, twelve. So all in all, we have 52 cards in a deck. Mm -hmm. I need to find my odds. Uh, can I have a calculator, please? Mm, let's see. Okay. There we go. Thank you. 12 divided by 52 is equal to 0 0.23. So we'll take that as 0 0.23. So we need to find a percentage. Therefore, we multiply 0 0.23 by, by 100. 0 0.23 we multiply by 100 is equal to 23%. 23%. In my favor and giving you 77%. No one will ever say yes to odds like that. Well, let's do the dice thing then. Get it right, and I'll go. Ah, not so fast, sister, not so fast. I need to get the odds for that. I'm gonna grab some tea. This is gonna take a while. Can you see how to work out the probability of Lebuchang rolling a total value of nine with two dice? The first thing you need to do is work out how many ways to get 9. 6 plus 3 gives 9 and is one option. But there are two ways of getting this result. A red 6 and a white 3. And then a red 3 and a white 6. Are there any other ways to get 9 using two dice? Let's see how Lebuchang does his calculations. Okay, there are four ways to throw a nine with these dice. You can throw a three on red and six on white. Or you can throw a four on red and five on white. Vice versa. So there are four. That's three, six. Six plus three, that's nine. Four, five. Five plus four, it's nine. Right. You've got four chances of throwing a nine on the dice. What's the problem? The problem is, all in all, there are 36 ways of throwing these dice. That's 6 times 6. The probability of throwing a 9 with these dice is uh, 4 over 36. So what we need to do is, okay, let's say, 4 divided by 36. 
36 and there is 0 0.11, right? So we need to convert that into a percentage, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to multiply 0 0.11 by 100. And that gives us multiply by 100 is equal to all right, 11%. And that, Miss Tandy, are the odds which no book you would touch. So forget it. So how did you work out that there are 36 possible throws of the dice? It's logic. No, 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 no. Don't tell me about logic. Show me. Tea is ready. Mm. Okay. How many sugars? Two. You see, there's six possibilities on each dice. Mm -hmm. For each possibility on the one dice, there's six possibilities on the other. Mm -hmm. You see? I've written it out. Yeah. It's one and one, one and two, one and yeah, three. Yeah, 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 I've got the picture. That's how I got six times six, which gave me 36. The bottom line is your odd sucks. <laughs> yeah, like my odds of winning the lottery. Lebohang has correctly worked out that his chance of winning the card game is 23% and the chance of winning the dice game is only 11%. Although there is a low probability that he will win, it is not impossible. Probability can be written as a number between 0 and 1 or between 0% and 100%. When the probability is 0, this means it is impossible. For example, we know that it is impossible to roll 9 with one normal dice. There is no way you can do this. On the other hand, the chance of rolling a number between 1 and 6 on a dice is absolutely certain. There are six possible numbers on the dice, and they all satisfy the condition. So for this example, the probability is 1 or 100%. It is certain that the outcome will happen. When an outcome is equally likely to take place, then the probability is 0,5 or 50%. We say there is a 50-50 chance of the event taking place. In other words, half the time you would win, but half the time you would lose. When the probability is less than 0,5, the expected outcome or chance of winning is less likely. But when the probability is greater than 0,5, the expected outcome or chance of winning is more likely. I think you can see that Le Buhang was right to reject both of Tandy's options because in both cases, she had more chance of winning than he did. For the card game, Le Buhang only had a 23% chance of winning, but Tandy had a 77% chance of winning. While in the dice game, Le Buhang had an 11% chance of winning, but Tandy had an 89% chance of winning, which is far more likely. But what about Tandy's dream of winning the lotto? Does she really have a chance? Well, we know it is possible to win because many people do win each week. But is the game fair? And what are the chances of winning really big? The National Lottery is a game of chance that requires you to pick six numbers from 1 to 49. A special machine is filled with 49 identical balls that each have a different number. The balls are then randomly selected to see who has won the big prize. The whole process is strictly monitored to make sure that every ball has the same chance of being selected. Calculating the probability of Tandy selecting the correct six numbers is very complex. To simplify it, let's look at the way the machine selects each ball and assume that Tandy selects her numbers in the same order as the machine does. For the first ball, the machine chooses one ball out of 49. Now there are 48 balls left in play. So when the machine chooses the second ball, it chooses one out of 48. It continues to select balls until it chooses the sixth ball from the 44 remaining balls. So, what are the chances of selecting the numbers just like the machine? Well, 
1 out of 49 times, 1 out of 48 times, 1 out of 47 times, 1 out of 46 times, and the final 1 out of 44. This is an extremely small number and the chances are extremely small and very close to zero probability. It just doesn't make mathematical sense to even take a chance because the probability is so low. When you think about gambling and games of chance, you must remember the game or banker always wins. What are we going to do? I'm not taking my chances with your odds. Okay, let's toss a coin. You on? It's 50-50. Fine with me. Heads or tails? Tails. Tails. When y'all on You enjoy your supervising shift at school. Sorry, it's on Saturday. He doesn't realize how much math I got him to do today. <laughs> he actually deserves that game. That brings us to the end of this lesson. Remember to try the task video at the end of the series. You'll also be able to learn more about probability on our website. See you soon. Goodbye.